Welcome back to Great Day Louisiana. We are still out here on Metairie Road. Now listen, before you go shopping, or maybe even after you shop, you might be a little bit hungry for some brunch. Well, guess what? Right here at Ruby Slipper Cafe, this could be your go-to place for a delicious brunch. Join me now to talk all about their new offerings. It's the owner and the CEO, Miss Jennifer Wassop. What's hello? Hi, how are you? It's I'm nice wonderful. You. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And thank you so much for the beautiful food. <laughs> First of all, let me tell you, I told you this before, but I'm such a fan of Ruby Slipper. Thank My you. My brother brings me here all the time, but I have never been to this new location. Oh. Congratulations. Tell us about this new location. Oh, well, thank you so much for being a fan. Um, our new location's at 2700 Metairie Road, and we just opened in um, April of last year, so we're still in our you know, kind of infant year. It's oh, a lot ooh. of fun. Um, we have actually been looking for a location in Metairie for a number of years, and we are so happy that we were able to um, get this location. And um, it's just a great neighborhood area. It's great that we have um, parking and we're able to take this building and kind of give it our own feel and our own vibe, which is one of the things we really love about Ruby Slipper is that, you know, if you've been to any of our locations, they all have their own unique heartbeat that changes from neighborhood to neighborhood. Absolutely, and this is your 11th location. Yes. I can't believe it. For people who do not know, like myself, the story behind why it's called Ruby Slipper Cafe is really interesting. Tell us a little bit about that. So we opened our original Ruby Slipper in May of 2008, so um, within two years after Hurricane Katrina. My husband and I are actually engineers by background in education and wow. had no real experience in the restaurant industry but really wanted to do what we could to help rebuild our neighborhood. And an opportunity came up to um, renovate an old corner store and put in a, a breakfast restaurant. Mm -hmm. And so um, in that process, we of course were trying to come up with a name and uh, inspiration struck me. I was listening to WWOZ, our jazz and heritage station here in New Orleans. All right. And uh, the DJ was talking about her teenage daughter who had uh, been evacuated to Houston for the whole year of her mm -hmm. senior year and had just seen her friends for the first time the night before. And their teenage girl conversation was about where did you go and who'd you meet? And her daughter um, very uh, eloquently said, I learned that I grew up in Oz and every place else is just Kansas. And to me, wow. that idea of everybody wanting to come home, but us wanting to come home to this colorful, quirky place, not that boring tumbleweed black and white place, right. um, yeah. was what really inspired me with the idea of Ruby Slippers. I love that so much. And I also <laughs> love the food here. I told you I am such a fan. Congratulations on some new items for yes. the spring. Tell us about what we're looking at right here. So our seasonal specials for spring have a lot of, uh, you know, kind of, we want to keep them lined up with Mardi Gras, one of our favorite events of the year. So um, we have our uh, roast beef po' boy Benedict, Ooh. which is a play on every, you know, New Orleanian's favorite roast beef po' boy. It mm. even features fried pickles on top. What? Um, we are serving a king cake stuffed French toast, which has a, you know a cinnamon cheesecake filling, and of course uh, garnished with some beautiful uh, colored sprinkles and a little blueberry compote that we make fresh. And um, the one I'm really excited about personally, bringing me right back to my childhood, is our um, cereal milk pancakes. So these are featuring <laughs> um, a fruity cereal with marshmallows that's baked inside and garnished and then we have this beautiful cereal milk sauce I'm that I will you. let you pour on oh top. My goodness. So you don't get syrup, you get milk. Yes, you can of what? course put syrup, but we love the idea of everybody loves cereal milk. So we love the idea of creating a sauce that was gonna go with this dish and really bring you straight back to your childhood. Ooh, I love this. And I can definitely imagine eating this after a night of parading and carrying oh, on during Mardi Gras. So. Absolutely. Now I know each location kind of takes in the unique flavors of the area. What are some maybe different things we can find here if we've maybe been to a Ruby Slipper before? Well, I think one of the things that we really focus on um, as a company is really about the people that um, work for us in our neighborhood mm -hmm. restaurants and, you know, kind of the energy and the vibe that they bring and like what does the guest really want to experience. Yeah. Um, so while our menu is the same in all locations, uh, the feeling you get when you walk in the door is going to change little a little bit based on where you are, so. Delicious.
I know. I can't wait to eat all. I can't wait to eat all these fried pickles. That's like this is delicious. They had me. Your first time having it too, right? Since we since we did the development, so they had me at fried pickles for sure. And I love how it's kind of like a po' boy, you know, but it's a biscuit instead of French bread. Absolutely. Oh, this hollandaise sauce is delicious. Everything's better with hollandaise. Mmm. This is delicious. Thank you. So good. Now look, I'm a little thirsty, <laughs> and you all have some very special drinks that you all are doing as well. Tell we us about do. What we're looking at here. So first, we're looking at our king cake cocktails. This is a popular one we've had um, a, a few years in a row now. During Mardi Gras, it comes with a baby, so you get a little baby garnish oh, on top. <laughs> and then this is our Mardi Gras mambo mimosa. So it's a uh, fresh blueberry. Um, puree that we use to make it and, and during Mardi Gras of course we're garnishing it with our purple green and gold. Of course. And not a special but special every day is our Bacon Bloody Mary. It's award winning in four states. Uh, we house make the bacon vodka. Um, we house infuse it and bacon it's bacon vodka yeah and it's garnished of course with bacon and spicy beans straight from Louisiana and of course lemon lime and olives. This so. is delicious now we are running out of time I love this food this is delicious by the way. Thank you. One cool thing you all just don't have great food you also give back tell us a little bit about that. So you know we were founded in the idea after Hurricane Katrina of trying to return building to commerce and give into our community that way and we've just carried that on throughout our existence in nearly 12 years. And so um, here in Metairie Road, every time we do an opening, we find a, um, a nonprofit to partner with, and Angel's Place was our partner here, and we've established a great relationship with them. They provide services to children and families um, suffering with childhood cancer, and so we were able to donate about $4,000 to them from our opening here. This is amazing. Well, look, congratulations on the new menu. Congratulations on the 11th location just here in New Orleans. The food is delicious. Jennifer, thank you so much. Thank you so much, my friends. Here's some good news. You're seeing the special on your screen right now. All of these spring specials are running right now, but they only last for a limited time. Make sure you come and get the food because it really is good. If you want more information about the Ruby Slipper, visit their website, rubyslippercafe.net. That's the rubyslippercafe.net. Give them a call at 504-638-9905. The address is 2700 Meta Road. All right, we have so much more to come on our show. Stick with us. You're watching Great Day with